Now, of course, the reason we're doing this to ourselves, or more to the point, the reason politicians are doing this to us, it be, is because they're pretending that they can change the climate. Seriously, you have to remind yourself how absurd this is. Even though global greenhouse gas, and gas emissions continue to rise, we think that by undermining our economy and reaching net zero in Australia, it will somehow make the world climate better. They even pretend that natural disasters won't be as bad. There'll be fewer floods, fewer droughts, fewer bushfires. It is irrational, it is unscientific, and it's just plain silly. And there are some climate alarmist campaigners who continually predict summer bushfires in Australia. Now, there's a surprise, hey? And they often say they'll be worse because of climate change. And then when they happen, the alarmists say, there you go, it's climate change. Have a look at former fire chief and now climate campaigner Greg Mullins back before the black summer bushfires. Fires are literally off the scale of fire danger in this warming planet. But let's all get together, work out ways that we can transition away from oil, coal and gas. Yeah, changing your energy mix is going to stop bushfires. I mean, give us a break. Now, that was after five or six years of drought. And as I said at the time, it was a pretty cynical ploy because, of course, there would be bad bushfires. And then they, of course, would claim it was all driven by climate change. See, we predicted it. And sure enough, even though the fires were not our worst, were not unprecedented and happened in places and times when they'd happened before, we had all sorts of people, politicians, media types and climate alarmists, claiming this was all worse and different and unprecedented. So what about this year, hey? After a series of wet years and floods, what do you think we would get from Mullins? Well, he's again issuing the same old warnings about a bad bushfire period ahead and making the climate change link. Now, look... We're almost inevitably going into swapping from wet and cooler to hotter and drier. But climate change puts all of that on steroids. With all of that rain, um, it's had a double effect. So there's lots and lots of growth. So there's fuel in areas where normally there's no fuel. Areas that were burnt during black summer are regenerating very quickly. Other areas that weren't burned, there's massive growth. So that will dry out and die off. Every summer in Australia is a bushfire danger period. So warnings are always welcome. People need to prepare their properties and make their bushfire plans. And especially in the southern parts of the country, anywhere roughly south of Sydney, where you always get dry summers, then the more winter growth you get, the more undergrowth there is to fuel bushfires in summer. So none of this is unusual. It's, it's ever been thus. And predicting bushfires in this country is a bit like predicting sunrises or ebb tides. They will always happen. They are an annual threat. So I reckon this stuff from the climate campaigners dressed up as a warning is pretty cynical positioning so that when the fires do come, they can blame climate change. Critically, no climate policies will ever save us from bushfires in this country. That is a fact. The only way to protect ourselves from bushfires is to make sure we don't have people and property hard up against bushland. Without fire breaks and reducing fuel loads and proper planning, we will always face heavy losses from bushfires in this country in summer, climate change or not. And anyone pretending otherwise is ignoring science and, of course, our lived experience.